Hello, it's 11 a.m. on September 22nd, 2019, and welcome to this weather update. I do apologize for not having one yesterday. It's it's going to be hard right now with what I'm going through to keep doing these, um, and uh, I don't know. Um, it's very hard for me. That's all I got to say. Uh, what I'm going through right now, and uh, uh, so I'll put this one up. And uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to. And yes, I know this might be a hum in the microphone. Something wrong with my microphone. So uh, I guess I'll have to get a new one. But um, anyway, um, it's going to be hard for me to keep doing these. Uh, if there's not any really major th anything major going on with the weather to talk about, you know. I'm probably not going to do uh, any weather updates until we do have something major going on with the weather. So I do apologize, but I'll I'll do this one to cover this week. So um, we have a looks like we have a sunny day across the area, but there is some cirrus that is moving in uh, across the area. Uh, you can see here, um, and it's uh, might see more cirrus in our skies today. Um, it's already warm out there, already approaching 80 degrees, except on the south shore, of course, where it's cooler, and on the east end. But it's already approaching 80 degrees. Let's look at some observations here. You can see it's approaching 80 degrees in Central Park. I will look at the current conditions in Farmingdale, and you'll see it's 78 degrees uh, and uh, southwest wind, so, uh, and the dew point is 64, so it is uh, getting more humid today. It's more humid than it was yesterday. Um, and 75 degrees at Kabreski Airport. The dew point is 66. Um, and uh, fog. So they have fog over there. Which is interesting. The visibility is 10 miles with fog. That's kind of one. It must be a very, very little fog for it to be that little. Let's see what it is in Tom's River. It's already 81. Dew point 67. So it's always hotter there. So, let's take a look at what's going on with the tropics. Um, we have Tropical Storm Jerry, so it's weakened now. Uh, and then we also have Tropical Storm Karen. Now, look at how far south that is. That is uh, almost like around Aruba. Maximum steam winds. Are, so, let me go to the uh, updates on these. We'll start with Jerry. And I'm just going to go into the public advisory here. So as of 11, uh, I'm just going to go this very briefly because as of 11 p.m., the transfer of tropical storm Jerry was located near latitude 25.7 north, longitude 66.6 .6 west. Jerry's moving toward the north northwest at near 10 miles an hour. A turn toward the north is expected on Monday, followed by a turn toward the northeast late Tuesday. On the forecast track, the center of Jerry is expected to pass Bermuda late near Bermuda late Tuesday. Maximum stains are near 65 miles, maximum stain winds are near 65 miles an hour with higher gusts. Some strengthening is possible within the next day or so. Tropical storm force winds extend out with up to 105 miles from the center. The minimum central pressure estimated by the uh, Hurricane Hunters is 997 millibars or 29.44 inches. So if we go back and we'll look at this, you will see the forecast track again takes it near Bermuda. So we'll have to see if it actually hits Bermuda, but the good news is they don't have it be have be becoming a hurricane again. So that's the good news for that. So I'm not going to spend too much time on this. Uh, the other one is Karen. Alright, so let's go and look at Karen now. Uh, uh, this might be more of a concern. Looks like for Puerto Rico, perhaps. So Karen, Tropical Storm Karen, is uh, is a uh, maximum staying wind of 40 miles an hour. Tropical storm warnings that are in effect for Aruba and some of the other islands. I think that's Aruba over there, or is Aruba over here? The island's over here. Um, so let's go and look at our... Uh, where's the one for... Uh, I guess they don't have a discussion. Oh, maybe they do have a public advisory. They should. All right, so... Uh, Karen bringing gusty winds and heavy rainfall to portions of the southern Windward, Windward Islands. So, Antigua and Barbuda has Tropical Storm Watch. Tropical Storm Watch has been issued for the U.S. Virgin Islands, including Puerto Rico. Um, 
So as of 11 a.m., it's located near latitude 12.5 north, longitude 61.7 west. Karen is moving toward the west northwest at near 13 miles an hour, and this general motion is expected to continue. A turn toward the northwest is forecast to occur on Monday, followed by a turn toward the north on Tuesday. On this forecast track, the center of Karen will move away from the Windward Islands later today, and then across the eastern Caribbean Sea tonight and Monday. On Tuesday, Karen is expected to approach Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. Maximum sustained winds are near 40 miles an hour with higher gusts. And they're not forecasting much of a change of strength. Tropical storm force winds extend outward up to 105 miles, primarily in the squalls east of the center. Minimum central pressure is 1,006 millibars to 9.71 inches. So it sounds like a very weak, a very weak storm. So let's go and look at uh, the... <coughs> I'll just take another closer look at the temperatures, and then I'll get to this here in a moment. So, yeah, you can see it's cooler on the south shore. It's low 70s. It's going to be hot here. So, yeah, the south shore, always the place to be. So, um, let me go to this current storm. So, let's take a look at Jerry on the satellite here. for it to load here. Yeah, it looks kind of disorganized. You can see some convection popping. So this thing is not going to go away. We're going to have to keep an eye on it for sure. Alright, and we can look at the spaghetti models for Jerry as well. Which I don't think I showed you the last time. So let's look at that. Pretty much all green on track. The question is, will it hit Bermuda? That's the question. So, that we just can't answer right now. Uh, tropical Storm Karen, which is a mess right now. All right, so here's Tropical Storm Karen, very disorganized, very disorganized. So that's good news that it's disorganized, but it's still a tropical storm. Uh, let's see what the models are with this. It's probably going to be all over the place. No, they actually do agree on the forecast track to a certain point, and then they kind of go. We're going to have to keep our eye on Karen. Alright, let's go to the models now. So let's take a look at the GFS. You see there's Jerry. But for us, we were front coming through Tuesday morning. Nice weather for Tuesday. Should be getting drier air in. And again for Friday, perhaps. And then, um, looks like we have another ridge developing in the east there. So, alright. The good thing is I don't see any tropical systems on here. So, let's go and look at the oops, temperatures. Sorry again, I'm I'm out of it. You have to understand that after what I saw last like yesterday, uh, I'm very shaken up. So uh, let's look at the temperatures as we go into tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be another warm one tomorrow, mid 80s across the area. You can clearly see that cold front coming through. Uh, it comes through, we get some relief Tuesday, only in the mid 70s. Wednesday, we also have 70s. Starts to heat up a little bit on Thursday, near 80. Uh, mid 70s on Monday. Start to heat, starts to heat up a little bit by next weekend again. Looks like I see some. Oh no, it's gonna be hot next weekend. Great, we have no trains next weekend. Lovely. So it's gonna be mid 80s again, according to this GFS. We just can't seem to get rid of this heat. Monday, same thing. Tuesday, yeah, heat again on Wednesday with that ridge building in. Oh, man, we're in October now. Come on. Ridiculous. Let's look at the dew points. So you can see tomorrow will still be humid. Dew points in the mid 60s. And that front comes through Tuesday. And we see big relief. Dew points dropping to the 50s. Strong west to northwest winds. Dew points going even down even further on Wednesday. And they start to creep back up a little bit on Thursday. And then that next front comes through on Friday. Brings us more relief with dew points dropping to the mid 40s. 
And then the humidity comes right back at us on Saturday and Sunday. Oh, it's going to be bad next weekend, guys. <sighs> this is warm in fall already. It shouldn't be like this. We're going to have to wait. After that, we'll have to wait till maybe the next week in October to get some relief. This is unbelievable. <sighs> Just when you think that you could, the summer is over, you know, it's supposed to end on Monday, and it's not. Let's look at the sky coverage. So, uh, it does have clear skies for us today. Clouds move in later, Cirrus. Uh, and for Tuesday, we, cle we clear out. And we should have a sunny day Tuesday. Wednesday, also sunny. Thursday, maybe a few more clouds. Friday, yeah, we may be dealing with some Cirrus on Friday. And of course, with the warmth next weekend, we may be dealing with more stuff. So, let's now look at the, um... Precipitation, and I'm just going to go to total cumulative precip because we have hardly had any rain. Look at this, and, and and not much rain is being forecast, so we're in kind of a drought now. This is not good. We have to wait until this is not good. Look at this. I mean, we need rain badly. You know, I'll I'll, I'll lastly I'll show the show you the climate report because we we haven't hardly had any rain. And uh, I think we're going to be at a significant risk for starting to see some brush fires if the conditions are right. And fires in the Pine Barrens, which, again, are, you know, this is the kind of weather that the Pine Barrens have fires in. And why is this not loading? I'm just getting a spinning circle. Is the weather service site down again? Let's see if maybe I can get it from here. Appears to be down. All right, weather service side is down, but I can tell you it's hardly rained. We've had, uh, yeah. I mean, I have it on this, but this nothing load, nothing is loading again. Let me go to climate. I mean, this is the New Jersey one. I'm finally it loaded. It's ridiculous what's going on. Weather service side is so slow lately. Climate. Let's uh, go to climate reports here. Local pass weather. And just show you. I'll, I'll show you ice slip. Show you how little rain we've had. So let's see. Month to date, we've only had. Look at this. Try to get this large. I mean, this. No, it's not going to work. I can't. Hopefully you can see this on the screen. I can't make this larger. Uh, we've only had 0.33 inches of rain for this entire month in September. Normal value is supposed to be 2.46, so we are over 2 inches below normal with rainfall. So this is, uh, we are in a drought now. So uh, that's, that's a very big concern. So that's going to wrap up this weather update again. I'm not going to be doing one tomorrow. Uh, I've got a pretty full plate this week. With all the committee meetings and uh, and things that I got to do, so with regarding my own safety now and possibly having to move, if I can even move, uh, that will conclude this weather update. So thank you for watching and take care.